Hi everybody, today I'm going to do a little tech talk again and this little tech talk is specifically aimed at guys new at rock and surf fishing, fishing with a grinder setup and fishing with braid. Now one of the questions I often get from, from people watching our little videos is what size leader do I need to put onto my rock and surf outfit? What knot do I use to tie my leader to my braided line? Should I use a mono leader? Should I use a braided leader? Etc. Etc. So I'm just going to talk you guys through the way I fish and what works for me and maybe that can apply to you and you could use it as well. When it comes to rock and surf on my light to medium outfit, I like to use a 100 pound whiplash leader. Now it's a nice thin but very strong leader. You get your distance you require from it and it's got no, not that much resistance in the water. And if you hook a big fish, you can put a lot of pressure on that braid and won't break. Right, then on my heavy tackle outfit, that would be my 65 to 80 pound casting braid. I like to put a 150 or 200 pound leader on. 200 pound normally when I'm fishing near a reef and there's a chance that I might get reefed. And if I'm fishing beaches, I'm happy with a 150 pound braided leader. And I also like the whiplash because it's quite thin and very, very strong. Once again, the knot I use there to tie my leader to my braided line is the FG knot. I don't like using any other knots. There are a few knots out there you can use, like the uni knot, but we've just found that the FG is the strongest, it's got the thinnest profile, and it glides to your guides the easiest. All right, so if you guys go to the link below, you'll see how we do the FG knot or the way I do it. I would suggest you learn how to do that knot because it's a knot that you use quite a lot fishing with braid. Another question I get asked quite often is, how long should my braided leader be? Now, the rule of thumb for most of our guys that started fishing with a braided leader was to get the leader to wind down about one and a half times onto the spool before you cast. So you've got enough leader to put onto your bionic finger or on your fingers. Um, your main casting braid is often too thin to cast your finger, it's gonna cut you. So you want this leader onto the bionic finger because it's nice and strong and thick and you can put a lot of force into the cast. All right, so basically that's how we do it. It's very simple. You must play with your leader length, feel what's comfortable for you, but I'd say I think rule of thumb is one and a half wraps onto your spool, and that is the most comfortable. I find I get the most distance with that way of uh, wrapping my leader on. The least amount of wraps around my first guide, because sometimes if your leader is too long or too short, you might find that it actually wraps around your first guide, because you've got your thick, heavy, braided leader and your soft main line and it whips through the air. So depending on your casting style, if you find your casting and it wraps around the first guide, try and make your leader a little bit longer. Find if you make it a little bit longer, it works well. Just play around with it till you get that happy medium and then just stick to that. It's simple as that. Okay, another little tip I can give to the guys, um, and this is something I do especially when I'm fishing with my medium to light tackle outfit and I'm using a softer, thinner braid is to add a piece of nylon before my swivel which my trace is attached to. And the only reason for that is, is because this is a 100 pound leader, it's quite soft and flexible, but I find if I tie my swivel directly onto this and there's a wash in the water and the waves are quite strong, often that braid wraps around the swivel and makes a little ball around the swivel and if you get a good fish on, you can part onto that swivel. So by adding this piece of mono, which will be a fluorocarbon, you're preventing that from happening because it's nice and stiff. Your swivel sits there and it's attached to your trace and you won't have as much wrap around the braid, which you would have had if you tied it directly onto this thinner braid. When it comes to my heavy tackle outfit, my 150 and 200 pound braided leader, I don't do this um, because it's already nice and stiff and, uh, and strong that leader. It's not as flexible as it, so you haven't got that wrap which you get with the softer uh, braid leader lines. All right guys, so that's my little tip for you when it comes to leaders. I hope it helps you and um, good luck to all the new anglers out there and I hope you catch a lot of fish.